So cyberspace is real, and so are the risks that come with it. From now on, our digital infrastructure, the networks and computers we depend on every day, will be treated as they should be, as a strategic national asset. If you have a government that's willing to send people off to another country to be tortured, what are they going to do with the information that's in search engines and email and such? We will begin a national campaign to promote cybersecurity awareness and digital literacy from our boardrooms to our classrooms and to build a digital workforce for the 21st century. ACTA is the anti-counterfeiting trade agreement aims to make internet service and access providers legally responsible for what their users do online. Private corporations want the ability to shut down unauthorized sites where people download movies, TV shows, and music. But at the same time, the government continues to censor and filter information online. And the next step is they are actually harassing and arresting activists and bloggers. For the internet generation, this is our challenge and this is our time. The state has asserted its authority by surveilling, monitoring and regimenting all of us. All the while hiding behind cloaks of security and opaqueness. We at WikiLeaks recognize the difference between secrecy and privacy. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is making headlines again. Allegations against him are politically motivated. If he is extradited to Sweden, authorities there could hand him over to the United States, where he then could be prosecuted for his role in the leaking of classified documents. There is not uh, freedom of expression. So therefore we must start that the most important thing is not to bring the limitations, but to promote the freedom of expression. The biggest problem is not the abuse of freedom of expression. The biggest problem is that freedom of expression is not being tolerated. I'm very concerned because I see what our government right now is willing to do. 